Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Flutter on Mac OS. So, Flutter gives you a lot of flexibility when uh, creating apps, and it also free and open source. So, you can install it on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, in this video, I will guide you through the steps to install Flutter on Mac OS. So, to start with the installation, you will first go to flutter.dev. Once you are here, click on the get started button. This will bring you to the installation page. As you can see, there are many options, but since in this video, we will focus on Mac OS. So we will click this button. There are not many requirements to install for the uh, Mac. Just make sure that you have the minimum disk space and that you are running a 64 bit version of Mac OS. So if your OS is Catalina or Big Sur, you have a 64 bit version. If you already have Xcode installed, you will probably have a Git also. And if you don't have Xcode, then don't worry. We will install Xcode and Git later. Also, if your Mac has an Apple Silicon Mac processor, check these supplementary notes. Let's move to the next step, which is downloading the Flutter SDK. For that, we will click this big blue button. For those of you who don't know, SDK stands for uh, Software Development Kit and it's group of tools, libraries and documentations that are uh, necessary to develop applications just like we have the Android SDK or Mac OS SDK. So we have Flutter SDK which allows us to make applications for mobile, web and desktop for a single code base. So it's done downloading. Let's extract it. While extracting let's go to uh, and uh, create a new folder. We will call it as uh, Flutter. And now let's move the extracted folder to the one we just created. Now that we have the Flutter SDK downloaded and extracted, the next thing to do is to add the Flutter slash bin folder to the path variable. We need to do that because we don't want to write out the entire Flutter slash bin path in the terminal every time we want to run a Flutter command. So for that we could use this command. But as mentioned here, this command sets the path variable for the current terminal window only. So to permanently add flutter to the path variable, you will need to create rc5 in the current user home folder. So if you don't already have it and as explained here, the name of this file will depend on the shell you are using. So to know which shell you are using, just open the terminal, look at the top or run this command echo dollar shell. In my case, I am using a bash shell. That means I will have to create a dot bash rc file. So we can do that using the touch command. So now if we go to the home folder and hit command shift dot. So we can see the file that we just created. So let's open it. Copy this command and paste it. Here we will replace this part by the path of the bin folder inside the folder SDK. So copy the path and paste it here. Now that we have updated the path variable, run the flutter command. So if you see a screen like this one, that means the Flutter SDK is installed. And if you are getting this error, then don't worry. Flutter is installed, but here we have to initialize the git repo and we have to do some steps. And if you are not getting this error, then skip this part and watch video from 5 minutes and 5 seconds. And if you are getting error, then follow these steps with me. First, run git init command and then git fetch. And after this, uh, run git status command. Here we can see list of all files in flutter folder. And now run flutter command. Here we can see that error is gone. And uh, if you want to check flutter version installed in your system, then run flutter hyphen hyphen version command so my flutter version is 3.0.5 now let's run the flutter doctor command to see what is missing to complete the installation 
so as you can see here we are missing the android sdk for android development here in my system xcode is already installed so we need a uh, xcode for ios development right and if you want to develop for the web we will need to install chrome so in my case chrome is also installed and vs code is also installed so here i already have xcode so i am getting green tick here and if you don't have xcode then don't worry follow these steps with me so let's start with xcode so first open your app store and search for xcode here i am getting compatibility issue error because this is the latest version of xcode and i have older version of mac os so this xcode requires mac os version 12 or later and i have mac os catalina version 10.15.7 So if your macOS is compatible with the Xcode and for you if this error is not showing then you can simply download Xcode from here but for me I cannot directly download from here so what I can do is here on Apple developer portal I am checking compatible Xcode version for my macOS so it's 12.4 now next on Apple developer portal I will search for Xcode 12.4 and from here we can download the Xcode so in the description i have added the link for xcode version history as well as link to download older version of xcode so it will take some time to download depending upon your internet speed or so download completed so let's open it now again it will take some time to expand this xcode now click on xcode icon here agree terms and condition now here you have to enter your system password so xcode installed successfully let's go ahead and create this new xcode project next we get to choose the kind of template we want for our new project and firstly up here we have got different tabs for creating watch apps tv os apps mac os apps etc but what we want is an ios app and this is the most customizable type of template it uh, basically doesn't assume anything about your app and you are free to modify it as you need to so now that we know what our template is all about let's go ahead and click next on this screen here we have to add a product name so this is going to be the name of your app and we are going to call arts demo app and notice how down here it's already starting to build out a bundle identifier now a bundle identifier is kind of like a web address it's meant to be something that's unique and it will identify your app uniquely on the app store and you can see that it's created by what's called a reverse domain name so whereas normally it would be something like your company.com where they put the com at the beginning and then it's the name of your company and that uh, comes from your organization identifier so the team you here i am adding my apple id you can leave as none also now we'll add organization identifier so it would look something like this and the final bundle identifier is this plus this and we get a unique url because most companies have a web address and because web address are unique This is a really simple way of ensuring that a company's app is uniquely identified on the App Store. And for interface, if you are creating storyboard, then choose storyboard option and if you are creating Swift UI app, then choose Swift UI. Now the very last thing to check is to make sure that the language that you have chosen to program with is Swift. Now click next. Now it's going to ask you where do you want to save your app? and if you have a specific folder that you want to save it to then this is the point to go ahead and navigate to that alternatively you can simply save it on your desktop or simply just create a new folder called development and you can start saving all your projects in there now we are going to go ahead and click create and it will generate our xcode project for us so that's it that's our brand new xcode project created Now let's run our first program on Xcode. So whenever you create new project, automatically hello world program will be there on Xcode. So let's try to run it. So from here we can select simulator. I am selecting iPhone 11 and now click on this play button to run this program. Now it started building the app. Here build succeeded. 
so here we can see hello world is display so to confirm that everything is okay for xcode let's run flutter doctor again now for you guys also xcode is installed so for android it is saying unable to locate android sdk so the easiest way to install the android sdk is to install android studio for that let's go back to the flutter website and uh, click this link on this page here you will click on uh, download android studio and read and accept the terms and conditions now it started downloading depending on your internet speed this may take some time now that uh, the download has completed let's start the installation so this is just pretty straightforward just move the android studio app to the application folder it will take some time then uh, launch android studio to finalize the installation now click okay now we have to click next 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 here this is where we are actually installing the android sdk now click on accept and click finish to continue and wait for the installation to complete once you see the screen that means you have installed android studio and the android sdk is on your mac so now let's run the flutter doctor command so here we can see we have installed the android studio as well but here uh, we are getting two errors command line tool is missing and android license status is unknown so let's fix this issue first let's fix command line tool is missing error for this open android studio click on more option and click on sdk manager here under sdk platform i am selecting uh, android 12 you can choose the uh, other also now click on sdk tools and here select android sdk command line tool now click on apply click on okay it will take some time and it's done click on okay and again go to terminal and run flutter doctor command here we can see command line tool error is gone now we have one issue that is uh, android license status is unknown let's fix this issue for this run flutter doctor uh, hyphen hyphen android hyphen license command enter y again enter y again enter y and keep entering y and hit enter and it's done here it is showing all sdk package license accepted so now let's run flutter doctor command again so here we can see we have successfully installed everything which is required for flutter installation so no issues found and we are good to go now let's go to android studio go to preferences click on plugins here we have to install flutter plugins search for flutter and install it so flutter requires dart to be installed so click on okay now click on restart ide as you can see new flutter project can be seen in the welcome window so android studio has been successfully set up for flutter development now you can go ahead and start developing flutter apps on your mac so now click on new flutter project then click on flutter and select the path and click on next here we have to enter project details so we are going to name the app simply flutter underscore demo click on finish and it's done now android studio is going to create a demo flutter project which uh, the flutter team created it's a really simple counter app and it just has a single button which increases a counter so here's our uh, dart code and uh, here are all the files that make up our flutter app 
now if you have gotten to the uh, screen then you are pretty much ready to move on to the next step where we are going to set up an android emulator to be able to run this app on android what we need to do is is to go into the android virtual device manager so you can locate it under this button so i already have one device if you don't have any then follow the steps with me click on create device so my recommendation is to select the nexus 6 as your chosen device because this will allows us to easily accelerate it using hardware acceleration select your device go ahead and click next and now you get to specify which operating system you want to run on that device so i am selecting android pi click on download and finish click on next now you can change your virtual device name but the most important thing here is to choose in hardware for the graphics and this way you will be able to use the computer graphics card for faster rendering so now we are all done and we can click finish and now we should see that we have uh, one virtual device that's set up and ready to go so in order to launch it all you have to do is click on little play button right here and once it's done launching here's our uh, brand new nexus device now the initial part takes a little bit longer but it will usually be done within 5 to 10 minutes so we have successfully launched our first flutter app all it does is keep count of how many times you push this button so every time you push it the number goes up and that's all it is but this is just here to demonstrate that uh, we have actually got our flutter installed and set up so similarly we can uh, also run this project for ios so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos Thank you.